We will first learn about free body diagrams. Consider a lamp of weight W, suspended from two strings, OP and OQ, tied to the ceiling. If we want to analyze the force system that is acting on the lamp, we need to isolate it from the wall. Such a diagram of an isolated body with the representation of all external forces acting on it is called a free body diagram. The free body diagram of the lamp will show the weight W of the lamp acting vertically downwards and the tensions T, OP and T, OQ in the strings OP and OQ respectively. Let us first take a look at equilibrium. Consider a building. The number of forces are acting on it like the wind forces, self weights, weight of occupants etc. Because of all these forces, a resultant will definitely act on the building. Therefore, by Newton's second law of motion, the whole building must move in the direction of the resultant. But the building is still stationary. It doesn't move. This is because the building is designed in such a way that the resultant force acting on it is zero. Hence, the building doesn't move. This state of the building under a zero resultant force is known as the equilibrium of forces. For a coplanar force system to be in equilibrium, the resultant of the force system should be zero.